Okay, folks, listen, you already seen the thumbnail, right? You know we're doing a corn video, right? This is cream corn. You're talking about something that pairs great with any barbecue, especially with the 4th of July coming up. This right here is the way to go. Now, listen, I'm going to get right into this video right here, right? I'm going to be using a crock pot. So why even, be, you know, heat up your house or do anything like that? You can make this on a grill. That's cool. Now, here, I got a 32-ounce, you know, bag of frozen. Listen to this. This is just frozen corn, right? All right, now that I got it open, I'm gonna just add this to this right here. This is one of them simple dump and go re recipes, you know what I mean, that's like big. And if you a corn lover, you really, really gonna like this, right? So now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna look at my, my butter. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, one, two, three, four. Right, you wanna put this on the inside. You gotta love these kind of recipes like this, right? So this is kind of like a staple, like in Texas or whatever. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do one more thing to it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut this down, you know, like this, like that. Just help it melt better. Then when we drop it in like this, we just put them in. All right, so look, now we're gonna go ahead and put our black pepper in, right? So this is like a fine grind, you know what I mean? Look at this, real fine, right? We just want about a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna go ahead and just sprinkle this over here just like you see. Actually, you can pour it all in there. It doesn't make a difference. Why? Because we're gonna stir all that up, right? So now I got two tablespoons of sugar. Now I know I'm giving you guys the ingredients, you know what I mean, and the measurements and everything, but don't forget, on my website, smokingthegrillerwithab.com, and that's W-I-T-A-B.com for the printable recipe. But you guys might wanna go by there and take a look at everything, because you know I got you covered for this holiday. You know what I mean, when it comes to uh, barbecue, any of the sides, I got y'all, fam. Now, here, I went ahead and let this soften up just a little bit. Now I'm just gonna cut this into about one inch cubes. You know what I mean? Do it like this. Let me just continue to cut it down. Right? And then we cut it in, into a cube like that. And just drop them in the inside. Now you wanna use soften. Now, I can go ahead and tell you guys the time right now. The time is going to be, I'm doing it high on two hours, right? But you can do it on low for, you know, for four. Remember that, whatever you do on low, divide that by two, and that's your high time. Okay, so this is my heavy whipping cream, right? All right, now we add our salt. Right? Now that was unsalted butter that I put in there, so I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of this kosher salt, right? We're gonna leave it like that and we'll make an adjustment at the end. Now I'm gonna take my wooden spoon. Now because that was frozen, and then we put the, you know, the heavy whipping cream in there, it kind of like just gets ready to stick. What I'm doing is just mixing this around because we did put salt, pepper, and then it's up to you how you want to do it. You can season now. I like to sprinkle it just a little bit. Right, just a little bit with my A seasoning. Right, so I'm gonna grab my A seasoning. There it is right there. And I'm gonna give it a light dusting. All right, so now I just give it a mix, right? And then let me explain something to you guys when using a crock pot. You know what I mean? When you're using a crock pot, it's designed to keep the lid on. So every time you take the top off, you know, to check it or you think that it needs to be stirred or something like that, just add 30 more minutes back onto your time, right? So look at this, this is looking good already. All right, then we're gonna put our top on. Now, I don't know if I said this before, but I was thinking it. Listen, I set my crock pot on high for two and a half hours as I was prepping everything. So the bottom is nice and hot. Now that I got the top on there, I'm gonna let it cook out. Remember, we're gonna do this for two hours on high. And if you guys need to look, you know, if you have the time, we're gonna do four hours on low. It's already set. I'll see you guys when we come back when the timer's done. Okay, folks, let's, let's look at it after two hours, right? So, if you look down in there, there we go. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. Look at the thickness, it's not too runny. Ah, yeah, this is done right. You know what I mean? Now, I got a crock pot. If you run, run a little bit longer than your time, it sets itself, you know, to warm. But look at this right here. And I'm gonna pick this up right now and get your brain going. Look at that right there. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. That's what you wanna have. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this into another bowl. And this is how I put it out. I put it out some type of bowl, put this out. If you guys eat in the backyard, you know what I mean? Everybody can come, get them a, you know, a couple of spoonfuls and go from there. Okay, folks, <clears throat> now look, I'm showing it to you two ways, right? You guys can put it in whatever type of dish you want to, put it outside, let everybody just like get their own. You know, they free for, free for all. You've seen about what it makes. I would say double it if you're having a little function in your backyard. Listen, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. I'm gonna hit it right here, brand new spoon. You know what I mean? Uh, I've already hit it. Listen, it is very, very good. Like I said, it pairs great with anything that you're doing as far as our barbecue goes, right? But with them ribs, your barbecue baked beans, you know what I mean? All of that, you cannot go wrong. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. Check it out. Cheers, y'all. Oh, yeah. The consistency is right. It's not too runny. Forgot to wipe my mouth. And I gotta finish chewing my food. Now, listen. So if you're new to my channel, let me take this time to say thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button and tell everybody out there. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And you know where, folks, I'm going to keep it real with you. It's me, this plate, this corn, and some Kool-Aid. And I'm out. Peace. Hey, folks, look, I forgot to address the part about the bacon. The bacon can be mixed in there once it's done. You know what I mean? You can put it all in the, you know, inside, or you can use it, put a crumble top, because everything is better with bacon. Now I'm out with my Kool-Aid. Peace.